Do you ever wake up in the morning? And do you ever want to have a coffee? Do you ever want to drink some coffee? Do you want to have a coffee with me? Do you want to have a coffee with me? All right, hello everyone, Matthew here. So I've decided to start a new series on my channel and it's gonna be called Coffee Talk. So this is it. And basically the idea behind this is that I just wanted to be more personal, I guess, with my channel. And I feel like if I didn't have a specific video every week sort of dedicated to just talking to my channel and taking questions and uh, just connecting, then it would be a lot harder to just connect, at least on like a personal level with you guys. So I felt like a good solution to that would be for every Wednesday to do sort of a coffee talk type deal, which is what I'm doing right here. So this is going to be a very personal, up close, talky talk type morning video. Even though it might not be uploaded every morning, it's going to be recorded um, in the morning. So I might have morning voice. Uh, I might seem tired. I have my coffee right here, hence the name Coffee Talk. Uh, so hopefully I can uh, wake up and be a little bit peppy. Uh, <laughs> so I'll be taking a lot of sips of my coffee during this. But I, I just, I have ukulele Monday every single Monday. And that's sort of a consistent thing. And then Wednesdays and Fridays for me have just sort of been like all over the place. And I wanted to sort of make them more uniform and more predictable. So it's easier for you guys to know what content I'll be uploading on like what day. So every Monday you can definitely expect something to do with the ukulele, whether it's a cover, a tutorial, or a ukulele review. Um, you can always expect something ukulele based on Mondays. Um, and then for Wednesdays, it's going to be this. So every Wednesday, expect a morning coffee talk type video. So I hope you enjoy this type of content. And definitely if you have any questions, I'm going to be answering them. So leave them in the comments below. And I'll answer them in next week's coffee talk. Uh, so it's basically like a weekly Q&A slash I'm going to tell you about my life slash I'm going to be drinking lots of coffee. Uh, because I'm sadly addicted to coffee and that's probably not good. Um, but yeah, uh, besides all that channel stuff aside, I know that can get sort of boring sometimes. I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update as to what I'm doing with the channel. And for Fridays, I actually don't know what I'm going to be doing. I had a fan suggest uh, that it should be like free day Friday and I should basically just upload whatever I want on Fridays and make it spontaneous and crazy. So if that sounds good, uh, let me know in the comments. But all right, no more, no more update talk. Actually... I have kind of a big update. And I guess this is sort of what this series is for, is so I can keep you updated on a weekly basis without having to make update vlogs because I don't want a whole video dedicated just to be like, hey guys, so I'm gonna be uploading this now. Bye. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I don't really want that. So I'm gonna give you all my updates within this series and any things I'm interested in, any vlog type things are gonna be incorporated into here. But the update I was just talking about uh, was I got a new microphone, as you might be able to see at the bottom of this frame. Um, basically, my grandpa wanted to invest in my YouTube channel, so shout out one time to my grandpa. So he got me a mic, he got me a mic stand, an audio interface, a new ukulele, which is like a honey mahogany. It's The brand is Gretsch, and it's, it's so beautiful. And you can see it in my Can't Help Falling in Love cover I uploaded. Monday, sorry, I got the coffee burps. And I don't want to burp on mic because that's gross. Um, so bear with me here. But I'm just so excited that I have all this new equipment. And that's partially why I'm able to uh, create more content, I feel now. Because with this microphone, I feel like a video sort of like this where I just sit down and talk, along with the addition of my new camera, makes this high enough quality to where I feel like I can incorporate this and make a series out of it. Because before with my uh, Canon point and shoot, it just wasn't a good camera and it, the quality wasn't good. So if I made a video like this, my face would be going out of focus like 10 million times to whereas right now it's probably only gonna go out of focus like every once in a while because I move my face too much and I move my hands too much while I talk. So yeah, that's a big update. I got a new microphone, mic stand, audio interface, cables, new ukulele. So expect a bunch of new content. And I also recorded a studio version of Blossom. 
So I'm going to be releasing that probably on iTunes sometime next month. Uh, so you can look forward to that. I'm super excited to release that. Uh, so be be excited for those things. I'm working on an EP. I have two songs, Blossom, and I'll be here. I have ideas for the other two songs, but I still need to write them. Uh, but yeah, so that's that's enough of uh, updating about equipment and camera and music stuff. So I had a little bit of a story I wanted to tell you guys. Um, last week I went to Pittsburgh. I guess not last week. I got back like two days ago, but I went to Pittsburgh and like two days prior to going to Pittsburgh, my engine and my car started misfiring. I was driving on the interstate and I had to pull over because like my whole car started shaking and vibrating. And I thought it was going to explode and I thought this was the end. Uh, and I was very scared. So I pulled over, Googled um, what is wrong with my car, as you do, because Google is my saving grace. Uh, and it's like, it's just a cylinder um, that's off or it's not huge, but you will need to get it fixed. But it is drivable to get home. So I was able to get home, and I was able to drop it off at a shop, a car shop, and I left it there, and when I came back to pick it up, I drove it immediately to Pittsburgh, so I didn't even go back home. I took all my stuff, threw it in my car, straight from the shop, went to Pittsburgh. So the first night I was in Pittsburgh, I, I wake up and I go out to my car, because I think we're going to brunch or something, and there was a hit and run on my car. I walked out, and there was just a huge dent in the front left of it, and I was just so disappointed and sad because like it was the day after I just got it out of the shop and then of course someone just has to go and hit it on the side of the road <laughs> so we had to call the police and we had to file a police report talk to insurance all of that good stuff um, so that was it, it kind of put like a damper on my trip but I try not let those types of things affect me too much uh, because I believe that happiness is sort of a state of being and that sort of outside things can't really affect it unless you let them affect it so I try I try and just go on and be happy and be grateful for what I have and try not to get too upset after all it could have been a lot worse right so I go back to my house stay there for a few days um, and then I go to leave and I walk out to my car and I go to turn it on and the battery is dead <laughs> and at that point I just broke I just like broke out in laughter because it, I just thought it was so ironic and hilarious that my car was just trolling me nonstop. Uh, and <laughs> I had a good laugh. Thankfully, my cousins had a like car battery charger, so we didn't have to jump it. We just had to like charge my battery, which was I'd never seen something like it. So I'd recommend getting one of those, investing one of those. So if you run into the same situation that I did, you can just charge your battery and you're good. But I just thought it was hilarious how just life has a way of just playing jokes on you and sometimes you just gotta laugh at it because it's pretty funny you know <laughs> i it was just so it was like the you know comedy is best in threes if you didn't know i take improv classes and i've studied comedy and comedy's best in threes <laughs> and so like you say a joke right and then it gets the room to laugh and then you sort of say the joke in a different way and then they'll start laughing more and if you say it in a different way one more time that's when the room's gonna explode and so that's sort of like the car <laughs> playing a joke on me like the first thing was the engine misfiring the second thing was the hit and run and the third thing was the battery and I lost it uh, so I just wanted to share that with you guys and I just want to sort of let you know that suffering this is all right this sounds dark but suffering is a part of life um, and I think we all know that we all suffer it's just a part of being human and being in this world and I just believe that all suffering creates growth so anytime you suffer in life I feel like there's a bigger purpose uh, at least for the suffering you know with my anorexia I went through that and then I've helped people on the other side battle their own anorexia and it's like looking back and like sometimes in the moment you don't know why things are happening I didn't know why my car was trolling me I didn't know why these things were happening but you know all you can do is really just hope for the best and know that having the experience now will benefit you in the future. So if I run into the same situation, like say weeks down the road, I will know what to do. I'll know how to file a police report. I'll know what to do if my engine misfires. So it's just like building on these experiences you have to become a better person, I guess, because life's gonna throw horrible stuff at you. And it's just how you take that horrible stuff. It's not in spite of, it's because of. And it's how you take that um, 
sort of horrible stuff and sort of the things you would wish that would rather not happen and spin it and make it a part of you to become a better person. And that's sort of how I like to look at uh, suffering and pain in the world. I know there's the bigger scale and I don't want to get into that right now. And I don't, I don't want to make this, that's a loud motorcycle, don't know if you can hear that. I don't want to make this like some sort of introspective, big picture uh, talk, and I don't mean to do that for the first episode of this, but I just wanted to let you guys know that if you're having a bad day, or if something's been really getting you down, uh, just breathe, relax, it's going to be okay. Um, you're you're going to get through it, uh, trust me, you know, things come, things pass, good things come, good things pass, bad things come, bad things pass. Uh, and they make you into who you are today, your own unique person, and that's the best person you can be is yourself. Don't try and copy anyone else. Just be yourself, um, and beautiful things will happen. So if you have any questions that you would like me to answer for next week's little bit of coffee talk, uh, definitely comment them below. I'll give you a shout out, and I'll definitely try and answer. And this will be just sort of a weekly update Q&A story time with you guys. So I hope you enjoy this type of content if you did. Hit that like button maybe subscribe to the channel for three new videos a week as you heard earlier i got ukulele stuff on mondays i got coffee talk on wednesdays and then friday is like free day friday <laughs> but yeah i really hope you enjoyed this if you did uh, let me know in the comments because this is a new thing i'm trying and i always like to hear your opinion about it but thank you again for watching you're such an amazing person i really hope you know that and i'll see you in the next video take care Do you ever wake up in the morning? And do you ever want to have a coffee? Do you ever want to drink some coffee? Do you want to have a coffee with me? Do you want to have a coffee with me?